Hello, I'd like to share a new visited a plugin with you I've been working on. It's called VD SQL for exploring and querying databases. Visited it currently has some database loaders, but they load the entire table into memory first and then compute using Python, which can be a little slow for large data sets. VD SQL instead connects to the database directly and uses the database's own computational query engine. And this is built using IBIS, which supports many popular databases. Here's an example using ClickHouse. Now this is a public demo sandbox that ClickHouse has set up. And here's a recipes table that I've been looking at and enjoying and found it interesting. Press enter to dive into that, and here's the table. And so, of course, there's a title of the recipe, list of ingredients, uh, directions. Now, this ingredients column is an array of the list of ingredients, how much you need, maybe specific instructions on what brand of item is preferred or how ripe or how they're supposed to be prepped. But if we look at the end column here, this NER column is an array column that uh, has the list of the actual raw ingredients, hopefully pre-processed to exclude any of those modifiers. It's not perfect, but it does seem to get us some 95% of the way there, which is good enough for exploration at least. So let's do some basic exploration of these raw ingredients. Now because this is an array column, we want to unfurl it first with Z Shift M as a standard visita command to make it easy to work with. And then we can use Shift F on that unfurl column to get a frequency table of those ingredients. And we can see that the top ingredients are salt, sugar, butter, flour, and eggs. That seems right about right. If we want to see the SQL that generated this, we can press B to get at the sidebar. This is a new visited a, a command. And if we wanted to pull this off into its own sheet, we can use GB to pull the, that sidebar into a sheet so we can save that off. And then you can paste this query, actually, it's directly into a ClickHouse client and it will work. It's a little messy right now. There's extra subqueries, but in the next release of IBIS, those should be cleaned up. So we'll quit back out of here. And if we notice in here, we actually have a couple of different kinds of salts, uh, salt and uh, kosher salt. Oh, but there's actually this salt here that is mis lowercase. It's, it's uppercased. And so it's fa falling into a different bin. So I want to combine those, clean that up. I'm just going to go back to the original sheet, turn off the sidebar. We're going to make ar.lower, which is a standard vi um, Python uh, function on a string to make it lowercase. And it is very helpfully the same in IBIS. Uh, you should do it with a column. You can get the lowercase version of something. And then actually you can see in the SQL that we're using just the ClickHouse lower function. And for any backend, it will, IBIS will use the appropriate lowercase function. We can use Shift F on that again to get at this list. And now the salts are rolled up into one thing and everything else has been properly lowercase. So let's uh, actually look at the type of types of salts that are used here. Like we were talking about salt and kosher salt and stuff like that. So we'll select the list of salts here and pull them off into their own sheet. And there are only 500 rows being uh, pulled down now. This is to keep it kind of snappy. But um, we can get more anytime we want. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. We can do Z, uh, Z quote to specify how many we want. And if we stay zero, we're just going to get them all. And so this is the 2,300 different kinds of salt or uh, ingredients that have salt in them. Now, I was looking at this earlier, and um, there was saltpeter in this list, which I thought was interesting. It's uh, not very used in many very many recipes, but it is used in some. And I don't think of saltpeter as an ingredient you put in food. But um, if you press enter on that, we can dive into it. We can see the recipes that are here. And oh, it's for fertilizer. Oh, you know, actually, it is. It looks like it's a meat preservative. And so we can see it both in plant food and corned beef and cured pork and knackwurst, etc. If we wanted to save off this list of uh, saltpeter recipes, we could do that easily. We can go to uh, save and just say saltpeter recipes and JSON L and boom, there we have this list of recipes. So this was uh, made possible by Ibis and ClickHouse and of course Python and Visidata and it's a really quick and easy way to look at SQL databases. I'm not sure that it was uh, evident from all my explanations just how quick and easy this really can be, though. It was a very minimum number of keystrokes. So if I want to start over on this and do it without talking through it, I'm just going to go at my normal flow pace. I'm going to go to the recipes thing and look at this. And I kind of know what's going on here. So I'm like, oh, I, want to, I want to expand out the NER column and then freak, out, freak on that. And then, right, I notice again that there's the capital S salts so that up here and lowercase and freak on that. And then great, and I'm going to pull out the salt and pull off, I'm just going to get all of the things there. And um, if I want to save this off, I can just save off the types of salt dot 
CSV, for instance, and then there we have that saved off. I'll run into the saltpeter again, get those recipes, and here we go. Let me actually just save those off as saltpeter recipes. And that was it. And so really, that was about 30 seconds of exploration. That actually got me a, a large way to wherever, and it was only a handful of keystrokes. And that's the power of Visita and now the power of VD SQL to do it the same thing with databases. So I hope that you enjoyed this. We released version 0.2 just the other night. It's um, still early days for this, but it does largely work for a lot of different cases. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback, and thanks for watching.